Hi Capricorn, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love bite. Capricorn, let's see what are the messages here for you today. And a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Capricorn Spirit. All right. Uh, Ace of Swords, Two of Wands and the Devil. All right. Uh, for the second person Spirit, the Magician chariot and the temperance uh, what is the common energy between them spirit eight of swords knight of cups and the emperor in reverse whatever my deck the hermit in reverse somebody feels uh, they're scared i think they're lonely they're scared they feel um, they want to talk but they're kind of trying to plan out what to say they don't want to make any unwise foolish you know statements or something the other person is manifesting maybe moving forward they could be healing their own self maybe they first were manifesting that their person will come towards them but now it's like yeah i have to kind of heal my own self maybe move on uh, i can't stay you know sitting lonely forever i need to get out and put myself out there or something let's see i'm going to of course clarify these cards for you capricorn let's start with some dialogue message cards here let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then i'll clarify these capricorn and their person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be capricorn and their person spirit capricorn and their person Okay, no more from here. Let's take a few from the, the other deck. Capricorn and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Capricorn and their person. All right, just a few more from a third deck as well. This is a new deck I just received. It's called Late Night Thoughts. So let's see what the late night thoughts are all about. <clears throat> Capricorn and their person spirit. All right, good to go. Let's start the reading. And uh, Capricorn, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, you should be here. I deserve this karma. Maybe they did something and now they feel they're getting some karma for it. I want to hear your voice. I'm really going through it. I want you all to myself. I need more time to figure things out as I'm ending my karmic cycles. Do you still love me? Do you still want to be with me? You triggered me and helped me as well to know what I need to work on within myself. Second card, it's a duplicate, believe it or not. It says the same thing. Do you still love me? Do you still want to be with me? So somebody could be like um, uh, kind of wishing. Look at this. Is this a duplicate with the same card? Somebody is confused. Maybe they did something and they're wondering, does the person still love them? Do you, I mean, do you still want to be with me? You are the only person I want to travel the whole world with and have adventures with. You have half our gifts, I the other, if you would only work with me instead of being silent and shutting me out, we could overcome any obstacles together and heal in sacred union. I get so annoyed with your constant need to control everything and denial of your triggers. If I upset you, I want you to be honest with me, but you use silence as a manipulation to get to gain control we should be able to talk it out like grown-ups i'm willing to offer an olive branch to you if i'm able to communicate with you i would gladly accept an olive branch from you i long for peace and i miss you and the last one here says i claim you as mine trust me my love will find you when the time is right all right, so these were some of your messages, Capricorn. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start this reading. But first, as always, an angel blessing card for you. Not for you, the viewer. So 
it could be you uh, watching capricorn it could be your cross watcher so a blessing guidance advice or a message for the viewer spirit for capricorn's reading here it is this one says mother maybe uh, somebody needs your uh, loving touch or needs your nurturing or caring but this card the spiritual meaning of this card is your first priority is to take care of you treat yourself like your own little baby and first give that love and affection to yourself okay so spirit now tell me let's start with person a's energy so capricorn very very much like the longer readings we do you versus them the first uh, first line is for one person the second line is for the other person you could be any side you decide so person a let's start with you what's the ace of swords what's they've come to some kind of clarity oh they have come to some kind of clarity that they know they broke that person's heart and they could be scared as well. Two of Wands, they never made up their mind. Two of Wands, yeah, they never made up their mind. They never took a, chose a direction. And uh, now they're deeply unhappy because they maybe they got blocked or maybe things are over or um, things have become, st st they stagnated. Why the devil? Why the devil in your feelings? Oops, this person is scared now. They're scared and they, they feel because they never gave any kind of stable offer, they may never get a second chance again. They feel judged. They're scared and they're uh, upset with themselves and feeling none of my dreams and wishes will come true. Uh, I may never get a second chance again. Uh, they feel uh, they may not be able to manifest what they truly want. They are seen as some kind of a trickster by their person uh, because they sense that their person is holding back from them. Okay, so what about you, person B? How are you doing? Uh, magician. What's the magician? What's the magician? One more. Magician. I have a feeling, I have a feeling person B is healing themselves. I think they were waiting to rebuild, but they kind of feel they kept themselves tra uh, tra uh, trapped in a connection where the other person was not willing to make a choice. I think they feel that they got fooled and they are dropping this connection now. I think they were hoping that their person would come towards them or take action towards them. Uh, what's the chariot? What's the chariot? What's the temperance spirit? Yeah, I think they've stopped waiting though. They've stopped waiting. I think they're healing their own selves now because they feel, um, yeah, it's like I don't want to stay stuck in a situation. I don't want to have to fight for their attention. Uh, I don't want to be stuck in a situation where I have to compete for their attention or fight for their attention. It's like I have to heal myself. This is over. I think this second person is, uh, I think, walking away. They're walking away because they feel that none of their emotional needs were, ta you know, taken care of. They felt disrespected in this connection. They felt disrespected. They felt, they felt undervalued. They felt that their person was emotionally playing games with them or not emotionally, you know, uh, stepping up or uh, just wanting to keep them stuck or something. Maybe they caught that person lying or cheating or something as well. So I think the second person is feeling there was no victory to be had here and uh, lost hope. It's almost like they've lost hope in this connection, but healing themselves. So uh, what, what is the mutual energy spirit from to both these people? For the first person who's now scared that they've lost their opportunity uh, because they feel the other person is holding back, what do these three cards mean for them spirit? Uh, Spirit says they are very, very stressed out. They are very stressed out because they feel now their person is going to find somebody new. Knight of Cups. Yeah, they, they feel that person is no longer communicating with them. Uh, they fear that the other person is now single and uh, maybe will find some a new new offer or new love for themselves. Uh, somewhere they feel that because they were stubborn maybe in the past or they were trying to show that they were somebody they were not or maybe then 
they've kind of lost out or the truth came out about them or some some truth came out about them somewhere this person is feeling they've lost their power they've lost you know if this person was trying to pretend to be somebody they were not it's almost like they feel it's been revealed uh, that they were they were not available or they were not interested i don't know so let's see they are stressed out now they feel that the other person has got on to them and mo- is moving on uh, maybe towards somebody new okay so the other person who feels they got fooled and is are healing themselves what about them uh eight of swords what's the eight of swords for the second person yeah see they are seeing the the other person as a emperor in reverse somebody who was pretending to be all that and but really did never never stepped up never took control or never um, did right by them and emperor upright is somebody who says what they mean and they mean what they say so the other person says no they were only pretending to be somebody they you know they just wanted me stuck here i am busy now focusing on my own work my own life uh, ready for a passionate brand new beginning because that is what is right for me i have to do, i have to do right for myself especially now that i see through them that they were a false emperor and they never respected me or they never valued me or they never you know there was no growth or uh, you know anything there so the second person could be the person who is now turning their back to this connection uh, because they feel betrayed they feel betrayed and they feel hurt so hermit in reverse why is this the overall energy spirit hermit in reverse yep somebody is very upset and angry they are very upset and angry because they feel that uh, maybe they themselves made a unwise decision by trusting their person or they feel that their person didn't make the right choice whatever said and done i think there is a blockage now because uh, i think this is a second person doesn't want to be an option in anyone's life is like don't treat me like a friend or a friends with benefits maybe they found out something maybe they discovered something about the first person and then kept their boundaries up and said you know what i have to protect myself this is an imbalanced connection there is uh, you know i'm being breadcrumbed here there is no equal give and take and um, that's it so that's what i have for you capricorn till next time then love and light take care namaste